everyone, this is Yolanda from the Outcrafts channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these little mini uh, snowflakes. They're really fast and easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's really nice and easy. You can. Uh, this is not blocked yet, but when you block it, then it would give it a little bit more shape. Uh, anyway, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get the party started! <laughs> When I actually worked on the um, snowflakes, I did them in white, but since they don't photograph well, I'm going to make the snowflake in the red, but you would be making yours in white. So here to begin, you could do it either two ways. You could either chain four and slip stitch it to the first chain or do the magic loop, which is what I'm going to do here, the magic circle. So here we go. And now here... I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. This is counting as my first double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one more because it is going to be our separation stitch, separation chain. And then I'm going to do um, the following double crochet, chain one, five times. Okay, so here, double crochet, one, chain one. So here, this is going to be one and two. So here again, double crochet, chain one, and I'm going to repeat that until I have all my six posts. Okay, this is going to be my last double crochet, and then chain one. So now here you could count, and you could see that I have um, six of these posts here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and close this off to close my circle off. And then I'm going to sit, slip stitch into the third chain. One, two, three. slip stitch in there and now here I'm going to go I need to move into my spaces between my posts so I'm going to slip stitch into that circle into that excuse me into that chain one space and then I'm going to chain three one two three this is counting as my um, uh, double crochet chain double crochet again sorry guys let me try to pull a yarn here it's getting stuck chain and exit so I have two double crochets now I'm going to work a peacock stitch between here so I chain one two three and then you go slip stitch back into the first stitch pull out your yarn there'll be two little loops there and then you pull through those so that creates that little point now I'm going to skip this space I'm going to go into the next chain one space you're and we're going to do two double crochets. If you want it to be thinner, you could do just one double crochet. One double crochet, two. And then I'm going to repeat once again a peacock stitch. So one, two, three. Go back into that first chain. Pull out. There'll be two little loops. Go through both of those. Okay, so that's your second point. Now work the next two double crochets here in your next piece. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet and the second one. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Go back into that first chain. Pull out. There will be two little loops. Pull through both of those. And this is what the pattern is. I'm just going to be repeating it. So go into my next chain one spaces. The chain one spaces is where you're going to do your two double crochets followed by doing a peacock stitch. I don't know, I always, I always say peacock, peacock, I don't know. And then here, go back into the first one. Pull out. Two loops, pull through those two. Go to the next one. And this is just, that's it, that's all we do. So let me finish this up for you. And when I get to the last stitch, finish the last peacock stitch, then we'll join to close. all my stitches and so here I've done my last peacock stitch so here I'm coming back 
to where my beginning two double crochets were. So here I'm just going to uh, slip stitch into that third chain one, two, three, pull out. Now if you want, you can fasten off here. If you want to create a little loop to hang your snowflake, you can do that by either chaining some chain, making some chains or um, pulling out a loop. But here what I'm going to do, this is optional, I'm going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once I have those ten, I'm going to go back to that same first stitch, the first space where I slip stitched, and do a slip stitch there. This is creating your little hanging loop. I'm going to cut my yarn, okay, and fasten off. Now, I can weave in, sew in on my tails. This is in, um, hasn't been blocked yet, but you can see that is what the crochet little snowflake with the loop looks like. And then these here, I did not have the loop on it. I just fastened off and then I'm just going to weave in my tail here. So this is what it um, will look like. Uh, I tried to film it in white and I could not see a thing. Um, it's hard to tell when there's no color. Anyway, I hope you like this video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, be sure to share my videos with your friends and family, and remember always that God loves you.